Hi everyone, myself Dr. Mohit and uh, I'll be presenting on spindle cell carcinoma in maxillary sinus. Spindle cell carcinoma is an unusual form of squamous cell carcinoma that is being specified by WHO as a biophasic tumor including malignant mesenchymal and epithelial elements. It shows an aggressive behavior and poor prognosis, also called as pseudosarcoma, sarcomatoid carcinomas and spindle cell or polypoid squamous cell carcinomas. This tumor involves various sites such as esophagus, upper aerodigestive tract, GIT, breast hepatobiliary systems, and genitourinary system. It has a predilection for male patients ranging between 6 and 8 decades of the life. Also, an uh, associated history of alcohol abuse, smoking, and radiation is present. Imaging. Uh, imaging is important because it helps in assessment of tumor, size, nature, extent, and invasion of which CT is the most commonly used modality because of wider availability, easy access, lower cost. Also, uh, CT scan helps in effectively detecting calcification and bone invasion, which helps differentiating between adenocarcinomas, inverted papillomas, fungal sinusitis, and denticarous tumors. My patient was a 50-year-old male who presented with complaints of headache, nasal discharge, nasal bleed, swelling in right maxillary region since 8 months. During this period, he was using nasal decongestant, decongestant to relieve the obstruction. However, other examinations and neuroautological and ocular examination was normal. Patient did not uh, show any history of trauma and use of alcohol or tobacco. Uh, clinical examination was performed and patient showed a swelling in the right side of the face. Also, a CT scan was done and which it showed the following. The following images uh, were taken in both non-contrast and contrast enhanced phases in axial, coronal, and sagittal planes, which reveals uh, heterogeneously enhancing soft tissue density lesions involving right maxillary sinus, right ethmoid, right nasal cavity, and right sphenoid sinus, also involving retromaxillary region with bony destruction. On histopathology, the lesion was proved to be a spindle cell carcinoma. Spindle cell carcinomas or sarcomatoid carcinomas are rare carcinomas that involve many parts of the body, such as digestive and respiratory tract. Uh, when it involves a hollow viscous, it usually presents as polypoid or pedunculated form. The occurrence of this tumor is in nasal cavity and paranasal sinus is rare, which is being corroborated by English literature. Uh, also, this uh, Carcinoma is a uh, predilection for male patients ranging between third to seven decades of their life. Uh, history of tobacco, alcohol abuse, and previous radiation history are considered important predisposing factors. Various studies have shown that epithelial cell component is positive for creatine and negative for vimentin, whereas spindle cell component is reactive for vimentin but non-reactive for creatine. Conclusion. Uh, the non-specificity of symptoms make it difficult to diagnose this carcinoma. However, multiple modalities such as CT and MRI are invaluable tools in clinching the diagnosis. So I end up my presentation uh, with spindle cell carcinoma involving the right maxillary sinus. Thank you, everyone.